And they go, well, what do we need to do? Because our hearts have been cut. The spirit has moved in our hearts. We see something happening. Something's going on. We're bewildered. We're amazed. We're perplexed. Therefore, hey, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus whom you crucified, and again, not afraid to challenge, both Lord and Messiah. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, what shall we do? What happened before? Peter up there cutting people with swords. Now his word is, the spirit is using him to cut hearts. And it's not Peter just doing it. He said, the Spirit is poured forth. I'm just a product of what the Spirit is doing. That's why your heart is being cut. I, this, I'm not making this stuff up. This is, what I, this is this message. And they go, well, what do we need to do? Because our hearts have been cut. The Spirit has moved in our hearts. We see something happening. Something's going on. We're bewildered. We're amazed. We're perplexed. And Peter says, this is what the Spirit is telling me to tell every one of you. You need to Repent. You need to change the way you think about who God is. Just like, just like I did if I pray. Right, Peter's like, I used to have in mind the concerns of man. But now I have in the, the concerns of God. And that's what you need. You need to repent. You need to turn from your self-centeredness, your self-reliance, making God of yourself. You need to turn from your life and turn to God. That is what you need to do. You need to stop acting a fool, like my mom used to say, and start acting right. (laughs) And not just repent, but be baptized. Be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive what? The gift of what? The gift of the Holy Spirit. (laughs) Who doesn't celebrate receiving a gift for crying out loud, right? That's why Pentecost is so important. Celebrate the gift of the Spirit. Thank God that he has given us his Spirit. But if you have not repented or been baptized, then you are not experiencing the indwelling of God's Spirit. And I want you to, out of sheer love for you. And if you want to learn more about this, ask whoever invited you. Sit down, pray, and read God's word, and die to yourself, and let the word change your heart.